Today, we're really happy to announce Utheme Pro 119. We'll also cover all the new features which were added since Utheme Pro 118. Now lean back and let's see what awaits you in this update. We are very excited to introduce our new contextual help system, which is seamlessly integrated into the Utheme Pro customizer. The help icon can be found on the right side of the panel's title. Clicking the icon will open the help window with a collection of instructional videos for all settings of the current Utheme Pro panel. There are also contextual links to documentation and there is an option to search the specific topic in the Support Center. To open the Support Center itself, click the button at the top right corner. We have created over 80 instructional videos for WordPress and Joomla. They cover the basic use of Utheme Pro, as well as all settings panels under Layout. Additionally, we covered all the settings in the Modules and Widgets panels. All videos have also been integrated into the Utheme Pro documentation on our website. Of course, this is only the beginning. The documentation is in continuous development and we're working on new videos every day. Finally, you can create blog posts with the Utheme Pro page builder. Simply click the Utheme Builder button when editing a post. Either create a new layout or load a layout from the layout library. Now let's save the post and go back to Edit Post View. Give your post a title and set the featured image. Optionally, you can add an excerpt and publish the post. Now let's open Utheme Pro and navigate to our blog page. As you can see, in the blog overview page, the whole post is rendered with simple markup. So obviously we're not done yet. To limit the post text and remove the markup, set the content length in the layout block panel in Utheme Pro. Now that looks much better. Alternatively, you can use the excerpt we added before instead of the post text in the blog overview page. To use the excerpt instead of the post text in Joomla, you first have to create a custom field. In the Joomla control panel, go to Content, Fields and add a new field with the name excerpt. Now go to Options tab and set the Automatic Display option to Do not automatically display. Now if you added an article, you can add an excerpt in the Fields tab. We added all image settings that you know from the page builder section to the image of the box layout. Now you can set the width, height, image position, image effects and much more. If you're using a box layout, you can now position the header outside the page. Additionally, you can make the header transparent and overlay the page background. There is now an option that allows toolbar to inherit transparency from the header. This means that if you have a transparent header, as in my case right now, the toolbar will be transparent as well. But if you change the transparency of the header, the toolbar will adapt accordingly. We added new grid options for the title and content in the grid, panel and switcher elements. Similar to the grid options for the image field, you can now align the title to the left. This will create two separate grids which can have different widths, gutters and breakpoints. In addition to aligning the meta text below or above the title, 
you can now align it below the content as well. This is especially useful on the Block Overview page. We refactored the link options in the Grid, Panel and Popover elements. You can now choose between three link types. You can link the button only, or you can just link the title and image. Alternatively, you can link the item itself. We also refactored the padding options in the panel and grid elements. Before, the image could be aligned with or without the padding only when using the card style. Now you can apply the padding around the title and content even if an image is picked without using a card style. We updated the link options in the overlay, gallery and slider elements. Instead of linking the whole image and its overlay, you can just link its title or show a button like you know from the panel element. The margin options in the panel, grid, gallery and other multi-filled elements were very limited. That's why we added a margin top option for the title, meta text, content, image and link fields. We added an option to set the color for inlined SVG images across all elements. To make this work, we updated over a thousand SVG images from all our Utheme Pro demo packages. Now if you change the style of your website, the SVG image will adopt the chosen style. We recently added support for the minimum stability option in Joomla. You can now choose whether you want to receive beta or stable releases through one-click updates for Utheme Pro. In WordPress, we added this option in the API key panel. By default, the minimum stability is set to stable. To receive beta updates, set the minimum stability to beta in the Joomla or WordPress settings. These are the main features of Utheme Pro 119. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the changelog. If you want to know what awaits you in the next update, take a look at the What's Next section in our blog post. Now go ahead and try Youthin Pro yourself. And as always, let us know what you think in the comments below.